Hi there. In one of my videos, I had shown you how to uh, use your search box to find out the queries that you do on the web using multiple search engines. And uh, I had left out the part where you could configure the search engines based on your own preferences. So here I'm going to show you how to configure the search engines for your uh, search box over here so that you can utilize it to, uh, for example, use any of the search engines or websites to search for your queries. Okay, to go to the uh, configuration part, you need to press the Alt key while you are viewing the Firefox screen. Uh, pressing the Alt key will enable the menu on the top and all you need to go to is the tools. And from tools, just go down to the options and the general tab would be the first one. So you're gonna go to the third tab in the list, which is content. Uh, I'm sorry, you got to go to the search tab. And inside the search tab, you're going to go to the default search engine and set up whatever default search engine you prefer. So I have a lot of uh, search engines, but my browser is infected i guess with a malware and if you see this pelican over here then it's a problem uh, that you should uh, try to resolve as early as possible leaving aside that there are multiple search engines provided by the uh, firefox uh, by default and you can just use one of the search engine as default and if i for example put yahoo as the search engine for default the queries that I'm going to get now, for example, I query for Queen over here. So as you can see, the Yahoo search has uh, come up. And if you see the result that, were, that are populated, they come from the Yahoo. All right. So that is how you can set the uh, search engines. You can search from Amazon if you are constantly into searching and buying things from Amazon. You can use Bing from Microsoft or the DuckDuckGo, the free search engine uh, from the DuckDuckGo corporation. Or you can search the Twitter, Wikipedia, the number of things over here. And uh, the and my uh, choice mostly just like yours could be uh, is Google and I keep it as a default. And I have put the uh, search suggestions over here. So if you do not want the data while you are typing to be sent to Google, you can just check it off. Uh, and there will be no search suggestions here. So let's just give it a try. Let's just put this off. And I'm going here and let's say I type queen. So as you can see, Firefox is not sending any data to the Google, which is very good if you are very much concerned about your privacy and uh, feel that your data should not go to Google unless until you have finished typing the query. This is the best way to go about it. Okay, so basically it another point is if uh, I had enabled the uh, history, then Firefox, would, then the Firefox would have also allowed me to ser provide search suggestions based on my previous uh, search history. So I just disabled it, but you can enable it from the history and this box would be enabled and just check it to uh, allow Firefox to show you the combined result from the previous history also, which is a good feature. So I'll just check this once again and use this search engine for searches from Windows. So so there's an interesting bit of uh, fight going on with this. Uh, Whenever you use the uh, search capabilities from Windows directly, for example, using Cortana and uh, you try to ask Cortana for some result, then the Firefox is going to be uh, used to show this result. But as far as I have been researching, there's some problem with it and some and Firefox and Microsoft are fighting over it as to who should uh, be able to display the search results when you use the Microsoft technology for with the Microsoft operating system. Anyway, uh, that's not much of a of the concern right here. So you can just check it and experiment with it as to what gets uh, shown on your computer whenever you use Cortana or Windows search. 
and uh, the great part is that uh, not only these uh, you know uh, i'll just remove this search engines that are provided by the uh, firefox browser but you can add your own search engines and when you click on the add more search engines you are taken to the add-on for the firefox window and you can add more search engines so if you just see the uh, browser here okay there's nothing over here uh, but as you can see these are all search engines so probably this is the category of the uh, browser the way browsers are categorized and this is one of the category which is uh, which comprises of a lot of search engines so if i just go down here I, you can see a lot of search engines other than the standard search engines that can be used kind of three six three four pages have turned up all right so i don't think that you would be using it but if you are into some specialized kind of search result and you can check whether your search result is supported by the firefox and uh, once you do it it will start appearing over here and you can by default uh, go to the drop down here on the top and select that search engine that you have added and it will come over here so i guess that's quite simple to understand uh, but uh, i thought it would be a good thing to create a tutorial on it i hope you like it thanks for watching and please do subscribe thank you